Well, after practice, the grid looked like this, but unfortunately the marshals didn't see it quite that way when they brought them round, and in fact lined the cars up back to front. Chris Hodgett's more than anxious, however, to put his stamp on this race, an important one as far as he's concerned. And Jimmy McRae, well, he's carrying a camera on his car, and that should provide us with plenty of fun. Don't forget, he was in second place at Brands. But the man with the experience is Hodgett. He shows it. He's away first. A clean start. Gap already opening up with the cars towards the back there, but it's Hodgett's into the lead. McRae slots into second place. And ooh, there's some pushing and shoving there as they come out. Up the long hill now, where power really counts, and torque as well. 360 foot pound of torque from these Rover engines, the Group A block, prepared by TBR and this lightweight GRP body. McRae down again, looking for a way. And it looks as if he might have found one too. Feeds the power on, still holding on to that second place. A couple of three people run wide there. And we've got a spin up right in the middle of the pack, collected back together again. All's well that ends well, but it's still Hodgetts. McRae right behind him. And McRae closing up on braking here. Down a gear. Whoops, and loses it. That looked to me as if somebody tapped him in the back, and I reckon it was Richard Cabin. Yes, Richard Cabin goes through there and obviously hit McRae in the rear. Struggling to restart the car, he has, he sets away. And this is Jimmy McRae, feeling like Albert's mother, a trifle vexed. And there's Cabin's car with the damage to the front end, weaving about there. And Cabin, I think, is inevitably going to have to head for the pits. That I would suggest is his race run. And he has got a problem, everybody's passing him, so Cabin out of the fray. Passed in there, went 27, John Kent. Let's see that again in replay. McRae, as you can see, closing the gap under braking. Quite the innocent party here. And up comes Cabin, trying the impossible. Hits the back of McRae's car. McRae, fortunate not to hit the barrier. But Cabin, unfortunately, gets all the damage. Perhaps he deserved it, who knows. 